Round two of the great rivalry, Central Jersey Group 4 semis, Brick Township hosting Jackson Memorial, Dragons defending state champs. Jackson Memorial losing a heartbreaker to Brick earlier in the regular season in overtime. Oh my, what a different story in this football game because on the opening drive, after a roughing the kicker penalty gives Jackson a second chance, Joe DeMeo to Kyle Johnson. That sets the stage for Vincent Lee from a yard out. It's 7-0 Jaguars with 6.50 to go in the first. And on the ensuing kickoff, Jasir Taylor is going to lose the handle on this. And Jackson Memorial's back in business, recovering the ball at the 26-yard line. And as Jackson Memorial offense takes advantage of the mistake, Joe DeMeo keeping it himself a 24-yard run it would lead to Mike Gowlick from four yards out the sophomore running back makes it 14 nothing before Brick has even touched the football on offense and the Jackson Memorial defense was tremendous in this game Carmen Sclafani is picked off here by the quarterback Joe DeMeo Early second quarter, Gallick with his second touchdown run of the game. This is a seven yard scoring play. It's 21 nothing Jackson Memorial. The Jaguars defense keying in on Sclafani. He's so dangerous here. Group tackling results in no gain and it allows the Jackson Memorial offense to go back to work. And DeMail to Matt Castronova. This is 53 yards. Remember, Castronova didn't play in the first brick game because he had to sit out for a transfer rule. It's 28-0 in the second quarter. So Brick's trying to get something going before the half, and Jasir Taylor provides a spark. Here's Taylor with a kickoff return all the way down to the 40-yard line. But the Jackson Memorial defense would squash any opportunity that came Brick's way. Here's Sclafani getting picked off by Kyle Johnson. The Jaguars would tack on a field goal. It was 31-0 Jackson at the half, second half. Ray Fatarusso trying to get something going, and Fatarusso breaks open a huge 50-yard gain. But... More great play from the secondary. Gowlick, boy, he does it all. The INT picks off Sclafani, keeps a goose egg on the board for Brick. And I'll tell you what, Mike Gowlick has emerged as a star. He won a Monmouth Building Center game ball. Here's his third touchdown run of the game, 18 yards. So it's three TD runs and an interception for Mike Gowlick. And the shocker is complete. Jackson Memorial would tack on one more touchdown, 40 Four to nothing is your final. I don't think anyone saw this coming. These teams played so close back in the regular season when Brick won at Jackson in overtime. But this is without a question a completely different Jackson Memorial football team. They beat RBC, gained a tremendous amount of confidence, and right now nobody in the state of New Jersey wants to play Jackson Memorial. They may be the hottest team in the Garden State. A dominating performance after the game, our Alex Lorenzo caught up with the quarterback, Joe DeMeo. I mean, uh, after that game, we had, a, we had an awful taste in our taste in our mouth and uh, a pit in our stomach, and it just it, it fueled us for the whole season. We had a brick in the back of our minds. You didn't want to go over anyone on the schedule, but it was in the back of our minds, and we all let it out tonight. After being RBC and brick, how confident are you like, going into the state championship now? I mean, after our, being the number one team in the shore after 50, 50 win, 40 win streak, it's it's crazy. And then being brick coming like being brick like this, we're confident we can beat anybody. 